Brandon, after that game ended, I was watching you. And I was watching you just look up at the crowd, take it all in. What was going through your mind? I just wanted to take that moment in because there's been so much hard work that has led to this. There's been ownership changes, there's been front office changes, there's been manager changes. And I seem to be the only one that's still around from those days. And right before, you know, I got there a summer after they went on that 2015 run. And I just always wondered, I, th I thought at the time that this was going to be a regular thing. And I was like, oh, man, this is going to be great. We're going to be in the playoffs every single year. And then you realize how hard it is to get here and how hard it is to win here. And so at that moment, I was just trying to soak it all in and just realize every hard work, everything that's gone into this, every decision um, that's just, I mean, it's been years and years of, of, of work and decisions leading into this. And I was trying to just soak it in and, and, and enjoy it with the fan base because this is all I've wanted. Ever since getting drafted all the way back in 2011, all I wanted was to help bring playoff baseball wins back here, NLDS, NLCS, and World Series. And we've been able to do that this year in an unbelievable story. I mean, if you were to write down and put it in a movie what's happened in like the last 10 days, let alone this season, you would say, no, that's that's not possible. You know, that's fiction and it's just not possible, but it's real life. It's happening right now. And sometimes those moments can pass you by, but I was trying to just soak that one in and, and enjoy it. You know, as someone who really wanted this, as you said, and has looked forward to it for years, nobody's ever experienced what you guys are experiencing at City Field. No Mets team has ever clinched here. So as much as I'm sure you dreamt of it, how did the actual moment and this actual moment here live up to what you thought it could be? It was it was unbelievable. I mean, you saw you saw me out there, you know, a lot of emotion with it. And it's one of those things when it's never been done before. You always wonder what what is what it's like when it, when it really happens. And it always seems a little bit like out there, like you, you can't quite grasp it. And so what, what would it be like to actually grab on and hold on? And we were able to do that with that last swing and miss by Schwarber and Diaz getting the strikeout. And just the emotion that poured over me, because I was trying to just like not worry about it, keep playing our game, the game's not over, you always go to the last out. And the emotion that poured over me was, was unbelievable. To be able to do it in front of the fan base here at City Field for the first time, is just a dream come true for me and everything I ever wanted when I got drafted. At the beginning of this season, you talked to ownership, you talked to the new front office, you said, I want us to compete this year. And they said you would. Yep. Now you're one of the final four teams left standing. Have you allowed yourself to dream the biggest dream yet? Yeah, 100%. We, we think that we've got as good a shot as anybody, and we've thought that since the beginning. You know, we've been playing really, really good baseball for four months. And so we thought if we could just get our foot in the door, we've got a good chance against anybody that we play. And we still believe that. So this is gonna, this is amazing. And we're going to soak it in and we're going to enjoy this. And, and this is going to be celebrated. But it is just the next step in the journey. And we have, we have no intention of just, you know, settling here and laying down. And we're going to go out, we're going to give it everything that we've got. We still think that we're an amazing team who has a great shot to win this whole thing. So we're going to go give it the best shot that we have. Brandon, congratulations. Soak it in. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go Mets.